What is up, True Crime family? This is Arctic Fox True Crime. Welcome back to the channel. We're doing something a little bit different today. We're talking about a crazy nutcase that decided that he was going to threaten to shoot up a Walmart in Durand, Oklahoma. So let's get into this a little bit because this is kind of scary. All the nuts appear to be moving to either Arkansas or Oklahoma, and I'm right on the state line between the two states. So, this happened in Durant, Oklahoma. A man was arrested after he allegedly threatened to shoot up a Walmart on Thursday night. Joshua Tyler Harris, 28 years old, was arrested after he barricaded himself in a home on Denison and Grand Avenue. Officers said they were told the suspect would shoot police if they got in his way. Now, I'm telling you, this guy is a nut. Police said an undercover cop was sent to the home on Denison and Grand while law enforcement arrived on the scene. It was one of those situations where the entire neighborhood was evacuated. Fortunately, no shots were fired, nobody was hurt, and Josh was taken into custody peacefully and brought into the police department, and it, there were no injuries. Um, but it's crazy these cases that are happening every day. Durant police said that uh, they were on the phone with a negotiator and Harris told them that he wanted to speak to his grandma. And shortly after that is when he basically gave up and exited the house. Uh, there were four guns found inside his house and 193 rounds of ammo, both for pistol and rifles. Harris is going to be charged, obviously, um, with terroristic threatening. Of course, he's going to be mentally evaluated, which I'm pretty sure there's some issues going on in that upstairs attic. But last night, as of last night, he had no bond warrant. He did go to court, and um, the last information I was able to find is that he he's going to have a $250,000 bond, it looks like. Um the timeline for his alleged plan to shoot up the Walmart is unknown. Uh, officers said that, obviously, they were very happy that it turned out the way that it did, with no shots being fired, and the dude just turning himself in. Guys, I mean, this is getting to be an everyday occurrence where we've got a mass shooting, we've got someone threatening to shoot up a place. I mean, and the guy was well equipped to do it. I mean, that's a massive amount of ammo that he had on hand. So, I mean, <clears throat> I'm going to keep bringing you these stories as they become available because we've got to not let our minds just go numb and forget that this is happening every single day. Every day. We just had... <clears throat> two separate mass shootings in Oklahoma. We just had the horrible school mass shooting in Uvalde, Texas. We just had the horrible grocery store mass shooting right before that. I mean, every single day. Sometimes we're seeing multiple mass shootings. So, I'm going to continue to keep coming on here and reminding you that we've got to do something about this epidemic in America. Fortunately, this one Turned out great. No one got hurt. Guy's in custody. Probably going to get some mental help, mental health help, hopefully, because they're going to do that mental health evaluation on him. Like I said, there's something definitely awry in his upstairs attic. So, uh, guys, just wanted to bring this to you. Something a little different, I know. Uh, but it's the weekend, and, you know, just decided I was going to do something a little bit different on the channel. I do appreciate each and every one of you being here. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Hit that notification bell so that you're always alerted when I upload another missing persons case or a video such as this. And, you know, feel free to share the video around. Really appreciate all the support. You guys have a wonderful weekend and be kind to one another out there, everyone.